everyone and welcome back to a new vlog today we are headed off this morning to go pick up a few things it is actually well today we're actually celebrating my brother's birthday he turned 27 i think it was was it tuesday, tuesday? Yep. he turned 27 on tuesday um so today we're celebrating it because most of us are busy um you know most of us work throughout the week so we don't have time to celebrate his birthday till today but we're just having like a um, small celebration at home he doesn't want anything fancy just kind of like a small get together with us and that'll be it <laughs> for the year um, but I like it you know a nice small gathering at home is nice um, but early this morning we're gonna go pick up most of the food because we decided not to cook anything because you know nobody wants to cook after a long week of work so we're gonna pick up the cake we're gonna pick up um, some of the stuff we ordered today um, but yeah I thought I'd vlog it for you guys because I feel like I've been a bit slack this week with the vlogs um, so hopefully today you know if I'm adamant I should be able to pick up the camera and just you know keep on vlogging because every time we go to the shops I absolutely forget um, to vlog because my mind is just too focused on buying things and then I totally forget when I get home that I forgot to vlog hey sandwich platter um, it looks really nice though it's in the actual box yes this is the receipt 112 but hey it's all worth it all worth it um, you can see from the bottom oh we've got some brown bread in there as well this looks delicious can't wait yeah. So Katrina has asked me to share with you guys some of my Christian book recommendations. Now, for those of you who don't know, she does have an Instagram, which you can follow here. Um, and she also has her own YouTube book channel, which you can also follow as well. Um, in regards to that, she's asked me to share with you guys some of my recommendations. Uh, more related to Christian side, because if you don't know, yes, we are Christian. Yes, we do follow the word of God. Yes, we um, believe in Jesus. So over the last couple years, um, since Katrina's been a booktuber, she sort of has gotten me into reading books a lot more often now. And I don't know if that's something that happens as you get older, but it's something that I actually really enjoy doing on my downtime. And as I've gotten into books, um, I've also started reading a lot of christian books and i also like to collect them um so i'm going to share you guys my recommendations of books that i've already read books that i am currently reading and some that are yet to be read that i do recommend you looking into um i would love to share with you guys some spiritual warfare books but unfortunately i don't have any physically on me right now i know katrina has one she might have shared a long time ago i'm not too sure but I feel like I would leave that for another video because I'd love to share with you guys some of those books as well. Uh, just a disclaimer, please excuse me if you hear like this wind noise. I have my fan going because it's severely hot and I need some ventilation. So the first book I want to recommend is Battlefield of the Mind by Joyce Meyer and Meyer, Meyer. And I just, I don't know how to emphasize on how good this book is. If you struggle with mental health, um, especially as a Christian or if you're struggling mentally dealing with let's just say a certain amount of tasks at once I highly recommend reading this book as you can see I've annotated it but it got to the point where I just didn't want to annotate anymore I just wanted to read the book because I felt like I was taking a long time to read it I cannot stress how important this book is especially with Christian people who struggle with um, 
author in your mind, dealing with the devil. Um, you know, when you're having second guesses, second thoughts, especially in regards to your Christian walk, I cannot express to you how important it is to sort of have this book ready on hand because she definitely delves into a lot of Bible verses that relate to the battlefield in your mind. She talks about mental health. She talks about struggling with past traumas. She talks about a lot of that stuff. And I feel like she comes on an angle where you're just human because I'm not trying to like pinpoint certain preachers, but I feel like certain preachers find it very difficult to relate to people who are going through their own mental health capacity within the world today and sometimes they just don't understand the whole point of that in regards to the Christian walk if that makes sense so I would recommend this book um, I gave this a five out of five stars um, and it is something I would reread if I'm going through my own battlefield again and um, I just don't know how to explain it to you I felt like a lot of the topics she talked in here was things that people struggle with today and especially if you're a Christian and people on the outside think that you're supposed to live this perfect life that is so not true and I find it so important that as a Christian you share your experiences when you're going through your own issues um, I love when a Christian person or someone who follows Christ shares that they're just struggling at the moment and I mean you can struggle with your own spiritual walk as well uh, which is something that she also talks about in here because I feel like we are told to not told but you sort of think to yourself that you're not allowed to share these types of things especially things that happen to you um in your mind thought processes all that sort of stuff she dwells in she talks about so if you are a christian who's really wanting to get to know a preacher or a pastor or whoever who sort of delves into the human side of things the more physical side of being a spiritual person a christianity person whatever I highly recommend this book. My next book recommendation is by the one and only T.D. Jakes. Now I know him and Joyce Meyer have written so many books and I haven't got to their level yet of reading every book they've read. Um, of course there are a couple books that I want to collect of theirs and read myself but I haven't got to that level. So the first book I want to share with you guys, this is from T.D. Jakes, is Let It Go. And this one says forgive so you can be forgiven. So basically as that little text says, it's based off of forgiveness and learning how to let go in your spiritual walk as we all know a lot of people find forgiveness really difficult i know i did and some days i still do i'm not gonna lie there are days when i just i just want to i don't know like your anger gets the best of you if that makes sense and when i read this book the writing bishop td jakes his writing to me is of an academic student. I know he went to university, but that's kind of what I'm reading. He writes like he's writing an essay, but in the sense where anybody could just read it and understand exactly what he's saying. And when I read this book, I couldn't put this down. Um, again, I've annotated it, but then it got to a point where I just wanted to finish it because I find with annotating that is it takes much longer for me. Me personally, when I'm reading and I'm annotating, it takes much longer for me to finish a book. Whereas if I just read the whole thing, it'd be fine. And obviously the whole purpose of annotating a book is so you can sort of go back to points that you've read. And you know, when you come back to to reading it, you always um, remember or whatever it is. And there was one thing he said in this book that really stuck out with me and it said, which I've highlighted by the way, it says, we always have a choice. And I feel like that is so true as a Christian person. You always have a choice to do the right or wrong thing. Regardless of what anyone tells you, you always have that choice to make the right or wrong decisions. And he pretty much encourages us that if you've made mistakes in the past or you're making a mistake right now, let it go, move on, ask for forgiveness, not just to forgive other people that have done you wrong, but ask God for forgiveness to forgive you for sins that you have committed, move on and let it go. So I feel like that's such an important factor when it comes to Christianity because sometimes you can feel like when you've committed a sin that that's it for you. You don't want to go back because of shame, because of guilt. But I've learned over the years that obviously the devil wants us to feel down in that sense so that we don't go back. And that's his goal, to bring us out of um, the church, out of your faith. 
so i'm grateful for it's it's not a long read guys it's really short you literally could finish this in one sitting if you wanted to uh but i would highly recommend this book really great read again five out of five stars okay my next read is actually a current read now this book i don't know about any other thrift store but here in australia i have seen it in nearly every thrift shop so eventually i had to get my own because why not and this is rick warren the purpose driven life and it pretty much says what on earth am i here for now this book right now i'm reading it as you can see i'm annotating it a lot more than the others and that's because it sort of talks about your christian walk and the life you're living in regards to that so i don't know how to explain this but this at the moment is one of my most annotated books like if you can see the amount of writing that i put in here um it's pretty much talking about your spiritual walk but how to walk it the purpose of you walking it and pretty much telling you why you should be here on earth and what is your life purpose when it comes to christ now i've seen this like i said i've seen this in so many thrift shops so eventually i purchased this i know katrina has read this and she has told me that this is a very good book and as you can see by the annotations i'm not finished but it actually really is if you were struggling with understanding who you are as a christian person then i would recommend reading something like this especially if you don't want to read the bible because i've noticed some people um what's the word you're still on milk a little bit when it comes to the bible itself so if you want more of an understanding in a more human sense where say the person next to you is telling you how to do how to walk your life in christ then i would recommend reading this book it's not a new book it's an old one i think he has another one um which i can also pop here um i forgot the name of it but that's another book that i would like to read but this i would highly recommend if you're struggling with your christian walk if you're struggling with understanding who you are as a child of god and um, understanding why you're going through struggles why you're going through long suffering i mean look it's in the fruit of the spirit why we have to worship why we follow christ what's our purpose in the life of a christian person then i would recommend reading this book it's a thick book it's not like hugely thick but it's definitely thicker you can read it in a sense where you do a 40 days of purpose um which means it takes 40 days for you to, like you read one a day um but i'm not doing that sort of challenge thing i'm just reading the book as it is and i feel like every day i read it or every other day when i do not have time and i do read it i feel like whatever the topic is sort of speaks to me and i'll sort of give you an like one of the top topics that i actually annotated the most so far is a place to belong so as you can see i've written a lot there and the other one was experiencing life together and that pretty much was talking about um experiencing life together was talking about kind of like what i'm doing with you guys like fellowshipping and worshiping together with other brothers and sisters and one of the emphasis that rick warren sort of talks about is how it's so important for us as people of god to mingle with other people who are fellow believers as well and not to just keep it to ourselves and stay alone if that makes sense um and i felt like that was such an important factor and he sort of emphasized that the reason why it's so important is because you know we're supposed to be together we're supposed to come together fellowship together because we have we're less likely to fall by the wayside when you have that support net if that makes sense rather than if you were to do things on your own you know when you're on your own you sort of are lost if that makes sense i don't know some people are stronger whatever but he's talking in regards to your spiritual walk that it's very important for us to fellowship together to surround ourselves with like-minded people who are believers as well where you can share and encourage especially when you're going through your own rough times you never know the other person might be too so that's what he kind of emphasizes on that topic so like i said highly recommend to anyone who's interested in learning more about why they are the way they are in regards to their christian walk and understanding their faith recommend this book right the next one i want to show you guys is pretty straightforward so obviously the most important one that i'm going to show you is the bible so this is the new king james version i read the king james but i also have the new king james so that it's easier for me to understand in today's text i know there's a lot of bible translations out there so whatever suits you you pick up and read 
but obviously how can i not recommend the holy book you need you need scripture guys you need this to be able to understand the word of god you need it when you're reading some of these books that i've recommended to you do have scripture readings in there so obviously you can highlight them in your books but then it'd be really nice when you just grab your bible and you just highlight them in your own bible so this is genesis and the reason why it's highlighted is i started reading the bible and i'm doing this reading challenge thing that i'm going to show you in a second but obviously i got to recommend the bible you need the word of god to understand the word okay so the next one i want to show you in regards to the bible is this so this is the bible in 52 weeks and this is actually for women so women who want to learn more about the bible and it sort of is like a guide to help you read the bible in sections rather than just read it all together if you want to read the bible all together and you're confident that you can do that go for it i prefer something like this because not only is this um a book where it sections off what you can and can't read not can't read sorry what you can read it goes by obviously the days so as you can see it tells you the week and what you read per day so it's like three to four chapters a day it also has a section where you can journal down certain notes about what you've read so the first question can be what goals did you give up on that just seemed too far-fetched like it literally while you're reading these Bible verses, also gets you to journal in certain topics in regards to what you're reading, if that makes sense. So that's the reason why I like this and I like that it sections it off. So it's much easier for me to read, especially if you're someone who works a lot more, who doesn't have the time, who is trying to fit in time for reading, then you should get something like this. Highly recommend you can find it on Amazon. Okay, so these are some of the books that I'm going to recommend that I have not read yet. And these are a part of my collection. Like I said, I've got a lot more than this, but I'm just showing you stuff that I, I feel like you could read now. So the first one is by Lisa Witzel, and this is The Hard Good. Showing up for God to work in you when you want to shut down. So this is a new purchase of mine. I bought this like a couple weeks ago. And pretty much it's based off of like when you feel like it's hard to come back from something or when you're having a shitty day um, and how you can come back forth from that. Um, so pretty much it's encouraging you when you just feel like I'm over this. And there are days guys when I feel exactly that way, when I just can't be bothered. So this is something that encourages you to sort of keep going, but also keep going as a child of God, because as you all know, it's very hard when you're going through your own mental problems, if that makes sense. And some people think there's this misconception that Christians don't actually go through that. And that's actually not true. We do. Um, we're just very good at hiding it, if that makes sense. So I highly recommend this book. Again, you can find this on Amazon. Next one is Lead Like Jesus Revisited. Lessons from the Greatest Leadership Role Model of All Time. Again, I have not read this. This is um, a highly recommended book. And it's pretty much about leadership, but also being a leadership role model. Christ-like ways, if that makes sense, um, and how you can transform your journey as a Christian. So it's not super, you know, serious, but if you want something like that, you can read this book. Pretty straightforward. And then my last recommendation, and this is more, I think this is more dedicated for women. It's by Lisa Tursik. What is her name? Tur Christ? I don't know, just saying it how it is. It's not supposed to be this way. Finding unexpected strength when you when disappointments leave you shattered. So this book I actually thrifted. So pretty much at the back it says, what do you do when God's timing seems questionable? His lack of intervention, intervention hurtful and his promises doubtful. So obviously if you're struggling with doubtfulness, um, unsure about what the future holds or unsure about things that have happened in your life. Excuse me, I need it straight up my legs oh that actually hurt um then this is something okay sorry so obviously this book is also about certain disappointments that you're struggling with in your life it's not supposed to be this way and how you can overcome them so like i said to you guys before i feel like half of these books are based off of like your mental health if you're struggling with your mental health or anything in your spiritual walk that you feel like you're unable to cope with then this is something you i would highly recommend that you read um obviously it's not just dedicated for women anyone can read this book but it's definitely something i would encourage like it's so important i feel like as 
Christian people to immerse yourself in the word, but also in other readings from other preachers, other teachers, um, because how else will you grow? Does that make sense? So something else I recommend. So guys, those are my recommendations. There's a lot more I could share with you guys, but that's, that's going to be kind of it for now. Thank you guys for looking at what I've shared. I'm sorry about the lighting, but I think Katrina's going to fix this. But anyways, yeah, that's kind of my sharing for now. If you have any of your recommendations, please leave them below. There are other books that I want to recommend, some that I've read as well, but I haven't included them in this book. So obviously, if you've got your own recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I would love to hear what yours are. Um, these are just mine at the moment. Obviously, there's a lot more I want to share with you guys. Um, like I said before, a lot more books that I would like to recommend to any of my brothers and sisters out there who want to um, learn more about God or who want to improve your walk. Um, I feel like it's very important. I know that in Polynesian community, it's it's embedded in us, if that makes sense. Our, our church life, our Christian life um, and all that sort of stuff, which I don't really have a problem with. Um, but I feel like there's ways to go about it. Like each generation is different, if that makes sense. So obviously my generation is not like my gener is not like the generation before us, not like my parents' generation. My parents are very embedded in their Christian walk. <clears throat> I cannot emphasize how embedded they are, but I feel like they're also starting to understand that my generation isn't. And I think that's something that it kind of sucks because, you know, there's not a lot of young people who were left in the church. I mean, maybe in other churches outside of my denomination, but in my denomination, it's sort of going downhill. And that's because a lot of the fact, that's because they are turning to the world a lot more and um, they're not feeding their soul, if that makes sense. So obviously I want to keep going. I want to keep pushing forth in my faith because I feel like it's really important. And um, hold on to that race that we still live. And I just want to encourage any other poly out there who's still following Christ to keep going. Um, if you're struggling with your walk, talk about it to someone. Um, not just your walk, just things that you're doing in your walk. Because let's be real, we're not perfect. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to fall into the world. You're going to do things of the world. We are in the world at the end of the day. We're of the world. Well, we are of the world, but we're not of the world, if that makes sense. So if you're struggling with your spiritual walk and you're struggling with dealing with things in your spiritual walk, Go and see someone. Talk to someone that you can confide in that actually can understand you. Don't talk to people who will not understand what it's like to be a Christian and not how to, and not follow that sense, if that makes sense. Even there's podcasts out there that you can share. But if you really need to talk to someone, go see a professional. Talk to your pastor if you can. If you can, if you know what I mean. Talk to someone that you actually trust where you can actually share with them what you're struggling with, what your walk is with. Even if you want to share that, on our channel please leave it in the comments below or you can private message us on instagram whatever works for you guys we're more than happy to listen um, because i'm one of those people who have the same issues i don't struggle with my christian walk i struggle with walking in faith if that makes sense because there are times when i will feel like i've failed and then i'll just feel so bad so guilty so shameful about it and then i just like i don't know how you explain it hide away but at the end of the day i'm reminded that I'm here for a reason. God chose us for a reason and we're here to share. So that's all I want to encourage you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this little part and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bye.